Welcome back with episode three of the rifle plane from the chop shop. Um, the boat is still in progress. I have not forgotten about it, but that's going to take a little bit more time than I've got this weekend. So anyway, um, I'm getting ready to do the finish work on the rifle plane. And one of the guys, one of my buddies on the channel said, uh, I want to watch you hydro dip it. Because I said I wasn't going to show that, but I'm going to show doing a part of it. I'm not going to do the whole thing. Um, just because, one, I don't like leaving masking tape on a painted surface for more than a couple hours. Because there's always that chance, and it still might peel it off, actually. Um, so that's why I'm not doing it. Because unless I can do it all in one shot, and it's been a busy day. I was uh, hanging birds. We got the quads, as you know. You know, we got wings we got quads but i hung up other birds check it out very cool my brother glass man down in louisiana gave me this baby i don't know if you can see it and then i got that off of my brother patrick and that is the famous i now black and yellow wing and so i was hanging wing birds today but what i want to do and that was kind of off topic but what I want to do is I am going to do one bit of the Hydro Dip. I used an experimental paint this time. Because I told you guys I was going to paint the bottom black and dip the tops. And I did. So here's the bottom of our wing. Okay. A little bit of schmutz there. Um, hopefully that comes off. Oh no, I might have patched that. This is actually flat black. It turned out really, really nice. It's high temperature grill, grill paint, actually. Um... And then the top looks like crap. I took 220 sandpaper and went over it. Doesn't look like it, but it is scuffed up good enough. And then the primer that I use. Where is it? Fuck, I lost it already. A brand new can of primer, man. Well, shit the bed. Hang on, bear back. No, it's because I didn't uh, I didn't put the cap back on. So this is what I use for primer, believe it or not, is automotive Krylon wheel paint. And it's basically a um, durable finish, blah, blah, blah. But it dries really, really fast. And I use silver or gray, whichever this is. I think it's silver. Uh, for pretty much every undercoat of um, dip that I do. Just about. Not all of them. I think, uh, where's that Mocha JJ at? This one I used, I think, yellow as a base. But other than that, most of the time I use silver. So what I did, to give you an example, and this is dry and ready to dip. This is the tail feather, okay? So uh, what we did here is I painted this one flat black. Hopefully the tape does not peel off that paint. Um, yeah, that's sealed up pretty good. Still a little bit wet. You can see my th thumbprint in there. Not bad, though. W we can dip it. Um, so, yeah. Did that, and then you lay masking tape over the top and just press down on the edges. Make sure the edges are good. And even though you can still see these lines, that's okay. You're not really going to be able to see them once I put the flag print on there. So then we're going to take a needle nose pliers, grab it like this, or we're going to use two loops of tape and we're going to dip it. Very, very cool. So pretty straightforward on how we're going to do that. So I'm not going to do the whole plane, like I said, on, on video because I don't want masking tape sitting on it overnight and I don't want to drop my phone in the fucking water. So we're just going to do the tail feathers here. And the fuselage, interestingly enough, I did the same way. I just did the bottom and around the top here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to mask right around here. And I'm only going to hydro dip from basically right here all the way up down to about right here. Because I just have my concerns about the hydro dip going all the way around smoothly. So I want the bottom to be flat black. Then we're going to clear coat the entire thing as one piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to get, I, I use the um, 
I use an old nylon cutting board, a plastic cutting board, and I lay my hydro dip on top of that. Then I mask it. Then I trim the masking. Okay. Then I peel that off and I stick it in the hydro dip. Usually, 95% of the time, the hydro dip, the shiny side goes water down, the dull side goes material up, okay? The way to check that is to lick your fingers like this, okay? And then squeeze the uh, little corner of your uh, dip and then drag your fingers off and the finger that sticks, okay? That is the side that goes down, all right? Um, so in the water side, usually, 99% of the time, it is the shiny side down. I think every print, every hydro dip I've ever done, the shiny side's gone down to the water. So we're going to get a little bucket of water and we're going to do um, lukewarm, like bath water. And then we're going to dip this pig and uh, see how it goes. So bam, stay tuned, be right back. All right, kids. Now, a couple things I've learned. All right. Here's our lukewarm water. It's perfect. Pretty much bath water. We're going to get our activator. Bam. There's that. Now, a couple things I've learned with hydro dipping and humidity. Very, very tricky. As soon as you bring the hydro dip out in the garage, if you're doing it in humidity, it tends to wrinkle up. So we're going to try and do this quick. Um, first thing you want to think of is how are you going to flash this down? Okay. So in this case, I, th well, let's see, I think I can just do it by hand. I think that's how we're going to do it. So I will, nope, out of rubber gloves. So what we're going to do, so we're going to take this. This is just how I do it. Not necessarily right or wrong. Hopefully it works. Humidity's a bitch. Got to work kind of quick. Now, when I put this in, you're going to see, I'm going to do this off camera. When I put this in the water, you're going to see it wrinkle up really bad. The trick to doing big pieces, and this is not a big piece, by the way. The trick to doing big pieces is getting the damn thing in the water without it having water pool on the surface. Uh, done that a few times. So let's see. Perfect. Now, we got a big old air bubble in there. See how it shrunk up? Now, once it relaxes a little bit, there we go. Once this relaxes a little bit, it's going to shrivel up really, really tight, and then it's going to relax back down. Once it relaxes back down, that's when, you know, you've got, you're ready to spray it. See, it's relaxed. We're going to give this a little bit of time. And if you do have air bubbles, now mind you, I've dipped with air bubbles before and it really doesn't make a hell of a lot of difference. But you don't want big air bubbles because the air bubble doesn't affect the dip. It affects the print getting wet. So you want it laying flat. So now what we're going to do, shake up our activator. Give it a squirt. Okay, give it a second. And we're going to go in at an angle. Should use gloves because the shit gets nasty. It's all right. And there we go. So now what we're going to do, <laughs> real nasty. I am going to go rinse this off, all right, with the hose. I basically put it on, I usually do let it sit a little bit. Let me wipe off my hands. Uh, it's towel, towel, towel. Ugh. I usually do let it sit a little bit, um, but realistically, I can go rinse it off right now. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this water because I'm just afraid my phone's gonna go in there. Now what I do is I go out with the garden hose. Let's get this back out. I'm going to go out with the garden hose. See that slime there? There we go. Um, and I'm going to put my garden hose on mist. And then I'm going to just wash the shit out of it with a nice light mist. Okay? Be right back. I'm going to do that for about till all the slime, till the water runs clear. So it won't be real long. And then I'm going to peel off the tape and hopefully we don't lose the black. Be right back. All right. I decided I'm going to show you how I do the rinse because... I have had perfect 
dip jobs go to shit. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. I have had perfect dip jobs go to shit from a bad rinse, believe it or not. So, I do use cold water, and I put the hose on mist. Look at that, nothing, okay? Do not use high pressure. This takes patience, and it just takes a long time. A lot of times what I will do is I will literally lock the spigot and just let this rinse like this for like 10 minutes and walk away. See, lock it in like that. And I'll just stick this in the, whatchamacallit, and let it sit. So, no point in doing this in, on camera, but I wanted you to see, I do not put it under a sink. I have let this sit for, mm, usually I let them sit for about 10 or 15 minutes before I do this. Um, don't let them sit too long because I have done it where I've let them sit for an hour. Actually, one of them I let sit for a day once and it, uh, it was fine. But if you sprayed a lot of activator on it, the activator will actually eat through the paint. It'll eat through the print. You don't want that. So I'm just going to do this. Let her go for a while. And then I'm going to peel off the paint. I'm sorry, peel off the tape. And hopefully it does not peel off the paint. <laughs> so I'll be back in a minute. And we're done. I rinsed it for about 10 minutes. And it is still wet, which is okay. Turned out really, really nice. If the rest of the plane turns out this good... I'm going to be happy. Now, this is the first time, believe it or not, I've ever masked off dip. So I did lose, this is supposed to be there. Don't worry about that. Um, this is covered by the, where it bolts on. I did lose a little bit of paint there and a little bit of paint on that corner there. I just painted this today. The other bits are sitting there and I'm going to let them cure till tomorrow evening, probably. And I might even clear coat them before I do this, but I also peeled the tape off while I was rinsing it underwater. Um, and that seemed to help too, but I dug the can out of the trash to show you guys. This is that black. It's a flat, high temperature grill paint basically, but it's a nice, smooth, flat black. It does not run at all. I mean, it's just out and it dries like this. Uh, you don't need high temp obviously, but it's very, very, the viscosity, it just, it dries so fast and it really doesn't run. Um, and then once you clear coat it, it's going to be glossy. So that's pretty cool. But this turned out really, really nice. Not a wrinkle in it. And once it's still wet. But once we clear coat this thing, she's going to shine. And I'll go ahead and touch up that black right there and right there. Um, that's easy enough. But these will probably be okay. Not a big deal. So I think, I think that's it. Nothing, nothing fancy. But it turned out really, really nice. This is going to be a bad, bad bird. So next time you guys see this, bam, fuselage will be done. Top wing will be done. Hope this helps. See you tomorrow. Later, kids. Bye.